Okay, welcome back. So let's move to lecture two and tutorial two. So now we're going to do sampling. So previously we used monitors or function objects which are on the fly. Now we are, let's do some sampling, okay? Sampling, the meaning of sampling is after we have a solution, okay? We can sample it in points on lines, but also you can do it here while, while you are running. So let's see this new way of getting information, okay? So basically you use the post-process utility, okay? as it is okay you, you don't put this auction with the solver like as it is post process and then you are, you are going to read a dictionary okay so for instance in this case we're going to read a dictionary called sample did and pros did okay this is our user given name you give any name so here we're going to put the information to sample along a line and to sample at a point okay so you put this in system and then we can use there to to grab the information and then that information we can plot it using our whatever you want grace new plot j plot python matlab doesn't matter okay so it's an ascii format information it can can be plot so basically this is what we're going to do so we're going to put several probes so here we're going to sample gathered information can be any variable that exists up omega k rho t okay the only thing is that the the variable most most exists okay so the variable exists you can grab the information at the points but also in a line so see that i'm going to put a, a line here normal to the surface and we're going to sample let's say velocity wall shear stress whatever the information it must exist if it, if it exists you can get that information so to to run using this this utility this is the syntax okay post process minus fun okay and then you pull pull here a name sample did this is the name that exists in the in the system directory okay and then you can use also this this auction to to your sample in the time 2000 okay so basically you read this dictionary and you follow the instructions that you have there so there are, these dictionaries okay this sample takes many options okay so the entries that you can put you have the choice of interpolation schemes because remember that you have a line that maybe it's a continuous line but you want to interpolate from cell center or for nodes whatever so you have many options of interpolation schemes you can choose the <clears throat> the line the data output okay you can give the coordinates you can also sample in a surface okay you can choose pick up the fields to sample and many other entries related to that and in probes you just choose the location of the probes and the fields to sample. So this is how you set up. Okay, the sample did. This is the one that we're going to use for, for line sampling, line or surface sample. So you have a type called sets. This is the library. Choose interpolation schemes. There are many methods available. Likely sub point is the, is the one that you need to choose to, to use. But again, it's up to you. If you want to use know the auctions available, use the banana method, miss spell there, and you will get the the auctions. You can set the format for the line and for the surface. Okay, so you can sample in surface. So there are many formats available. Fields that you want to sample. So in this case, we are sampling velocity and wall shear stress. Sets. Okay, so this is a compulsory name. And then here you start to put where you want to sample. So you give it a name, user given, and see that this is a line cell phase. Okay, you are sampling along a line, distance, and then a starting and end point. So you have a line that start here and here, and you are going to sample along this line, okay? And you are going to interpolate not using this method. There are different methods here. So you can add as many as you want. So see that I call it profile zero. All this information is going to be saved in the directory. All this function object and sample information, okay? It is safe here always in post-processing. So in this case, it's sample did. In sample did, in time 2000, and then this is the name of the file where you have that information. Profile zero, because you call it like this, and then the name of the fields that you are saving there. Okay, it's always like that. And something similar pro for probes. Type probes, the fields, and then you give the location, X, Y, and Z coordinate. Okay, and again, all the information is saved here, okay? The output of the files is something like this. You have scalars, vectors, okay, always X, Y, Z, okay? 
and then x y z coordinate x y z component of the vector you can also have tensor in tensor you are going to have all the components of the tensor i'm not showing that here but you can have tensor as well the line sampling okay so see that you get the axis coordinate distance or depending the mode there are different modes that you can choose that one okay but here you have general information of that sample and for pro it's like this okay you can get this sampling so here you have some exercise so try to follow this one okay and again we can meet in during the q a session if you have questions we can we can address those questions okay so that's all for this this theory so now let's go back here to the case okay so we're still in this case and see that let me close there as you go into system see that you have these files here those two files you have it here so let's open this file so see that here you define that so the header remember the header always stays there okay i'm not showing the header in the slides but you have it always there and see that type the library and see here i'm already putting some comments there you have some different methods you can play along with those but i think the options that i'm giving you there probably are the best one but it's up to you okay depends depends what you want to do Okay, so see that if you want to add a second one, just put it there. And there are different methods here to, to do that. In probes, this is the way how to you do it in probes. So to run this, okay, we have the instruction here. So this is you you have here also the modifier now to choose the time in all times that so you can run it in parallel also, there is no problem. So let me go just to show you. MPI run MP. However, I have to be honest, I don't like to run this sampling in parallel. Okay. From time to time, I give you problems. So I prefer to do it in C, but it's up to you. And see that you go there and now it's running in parallel. Okay. So all that information, what is safe? Remember, as you go here in post processing, see that you're going to have this new directory so i call i call like this because you call these files proceed sample did you give a different name you're going to get that name there and see that proceed did you sample in time 2000 and you have here the fields that you sample if i go now in sample we're going to see all the time directories because when i sample in parallel i didn't give any option and it's sampling all the time folders okay so as you open one see that you have the name as you open the file you have the information and now you you can plot this using the program whatever you want to use if you want to use excel matlab it's up to you so this is what we do you now in sampling okay so we we study two ways to do the sampling okay online a posteriori okay different methods we study the the the, the utility post process okay you have all your uh, steps here okay feel free to follow the steps so this is just the solver and then in sampling you have your your, your stops uh, steps here so to run a posteriori also here you have the options i, I commented these options here but see that if you want to if you forgot at one point to add a function object you can run it a posteriori like this okay so see that it's relatively easy the name of the solver post process immediately will know okay i don't need to run the simulation i'm just going to do post processing this auction you're telling that read this specific dictionary and as you go here you will see that this dictionary is computing this so you give it a name so now i'm giving a different name compute this so see that we have cell volumes a different see that and introducing new fun function objects current numbers shear stresses this is all that you have available here and so on so for instance let me go and put this here and see that it's computing that you have your quantities okay so if you go into 2000 you're going to have the new fields okay that was volume is b b is not velocity is volume okay be careful all the variables that you define there you have it also you are going to have this so this one corresponds so remember that you can have field quantities but also you can have data quantity that you save in post processing okay so this one you have it here and see that you have pros online a posteriori and there you have that information okay you have probes so you want to do a lines it is the same way like like in sets okay 
remember that you have that file in that you put sets let me go back here and will be this if you want to do it online just do a copy and paste of this that's all okay so then also you have it running in parallel so there is no problem running in parallel and see that also you can choose different times there so you put it there and now it's doing the sampling from 500 to 2000 okay so that's all for for sampling okay so using function objects and the post process utility uh again visit your source code and function object to see what you have available because there are many available uh i hope i didn't confuse you <laughs> at a higher level because i know that this can be a little bit confusing so try to digest this this what we just did but also revisit module one and the tutorials that we did there and look at the function object that we have there and probably you're going to understand better so and try to insert to add new function objects okay so that's all for this video then we have two more regarding two more quant qualitative post-processing okay a little bit more qualitative post-processing so thank you for your attention see you next time bye